Hello stampers, this is Jeannie Moss, the Bluegrass Stamper. I'm here in the Bluegrass State of Kentucky. Welcome to my studio, uh, where today we will be making this Good Things Come to Those Who Wait card. Um, this has a little surprise, a pop-up fish. So it does require a few bits and pieces uh, and a little bit of time, but I'll keep it as quick as I can by having some things done ahead of time. So let's go fishing. Some of the pieces that you're going to need. This is Misty Moonlight cardstock. It's four and a quarter by eight and a half. And this is Misty Moonlight cardstock. It is two by eight and a half. And we've got a small piece of Misty Moonlight cardstock, which is one by one and seven eighths. We have a piece of Boho Blue. This is four and a quarter. No, this is four by five and a quarter, so four by five and a quarter. Then we have some uh, vanilla pieces. Uh, I've already cut a circle. I used the Stylish Shapes dies to cut a circle that fits my greeting, so you could use whatever you want. You could use a square or any other shape. I've got just some scraps. This is just a scrap. I've got another little scrap here, and then I've got some DSP. This one, uh, that's designer series paper. This one is one by five and a half. This one is one and a quarter by four. And this one is one and a quarter by one and three quarters. So those are the pieces we're gonna need. We're also gonna need a little piece of window sheet. And I've got a little piece, I don't know if you can see it. This is half an inch by one and a half inches. And I'm gonna put it carefully over here so that I don't lose it. We're gonna be using the Gone Fishing, uh, well, Let's Go Fishing Suite. So this is the Gone Fishing stamp set and the dies. So the dies we'll be using will be this one for the little bobber and this one for the fish, but there are tons of other dies in here. So here's a, a pretty water die. There's also one that makes a tackle box. I've seen some really cute things done with that. The suite, is found on page 78 and 79 of the annual catalog. So it comes with, uh, if you get the suite, it comes with the stamp set, those dies. There's an embossing folder that looks like rope. I think it's, what's it called? Twisted rope. And then the DSP, the papers. So we're using the DSP, the stamps and the dies, but we're not using that embossing folder today. So before we get started, there's something that I want to do. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do because I want to give some interest to that piece that's gonna be in the background. So I'm going to make a watercolored background. Find a piece of scrap paper here. And this is that piece of boho blue. And I'm taking my boho blue ink pad and I'm squishing it really tight so that I can get a puddle of ink in the, the lid. So this is now a watercolor. So if you have 20 ink pads, you have 20 watercolors. All of our um, inks are water-based except for the um, stays on and Memento. So this one is a water-based ink. And when this is done, I will just let that dry in there. You can see it's messy, but I don't really care. Uh, and when I get ready to use it again, I can reactivate that with my water. I do know some people that clean that out every time, and but that's to me, that's wasting that ink, so I don't do it. But I'm adding a little bit of water to this ink. I've got my water painter here, and I don't want it to be too wet. If it's too wet, then you'll want to daub it a little bit out on your um, scrap paper but I do want some water to mix in with that. And all I'm doing on this is taking this watercolor and I'm just kind of running it back and forth across this piece of boho blue. And what I'm doing with that is just getting the idea of water. So instead of it just being a blank piece of cardstock, it looks more like water. So now to clean this brush, all I have to do is press it until some water comes out, 
and then just brush it on my paper. When the water runs clean, it's it's ready to go to the next color. Now, it, sometimes some colors will stain the brush. That doesn't affect the performance. As long as your water's coming out clean, you're good to go. So there's our background. I'm gonna put that aside to dry. And I've got this other strip. And on this one, I'm going to use Calypso Coral and Mossy Meadow. And I'm doing the very same thing with that. I'm going to water that down. And I'm just going to paint on half of this piece of cardstock. So I've got something that looks like that. This is just regular, very vanilla cardstock, so you don't wanna work it, overwork it, because it will start to peel. So you wanna do whatever you're doing fairly quickly. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the green on the other half of this piece. And there we go, that's all I need to do for that. And I'm gonna set this side to dry. And now if you're wondering what the heck I'm doing, I'm gonna show you my fish. You can see it has different colors to it. So that's how I got those colors. So if you're wanting to color an image and you want different colors, uh, think about your watercolors, think about your uh, water painters and painting a piece and then stamping on it once it's dry. Now be sure that you do let it dry completely because if you don't, uh, we're gonna be stamping this with our Misty Moonlight and it will be, um, it's also a water-based ink and so it will bleed if, the, if the, this is not dry. So I'm gonna put that aside to dry and we're gonna move on to our card. So we're gonna take those two pieces of Misty Moonlight and I should probably get rid of that paper because that's wet. We're gonna score these and we're gonna score both of them at one and a half and three inches. So I've got that marked already. Can you see that? Yes, okay. So there's one and a half and three. And we're gonna do the same thing with this skinny piece, one and a half and three. We're gonna put that to the side. We're gonna take our DSP. This piece that we have, I'm going to actually cut it um, on the end. I'm gonna snip the end with my uh, banner Banner's Pick Punch. So I'm going to snip the left-hand side of this. So this is the way I'll put my paper on the card. So I'm going to snip this end. And all I'm doing is laying that inside this punch and lining it up so I can see it so that it's centered and snip. So that's the snip for that. And we're gonna start some assembly. Um, the first thing we're going to do is fold these cards. We're going to fold this one back, and we're going to fold this one forward. And we're going to do the same thing with our strip. We're going to fold this first score line back and the second score line forward. So these pieces will actually just nest together right there, and we're going to put those to the side. We're going to do a little stamping. So I'm going to stamp my greeting on this circle. This is vanilla, and that's because vanilla goes with my DSP. I'm going, it's the good things come to those who wait. I'm just gonna ink that up. And I'm gonna keep this to the right hand side. I need to get where I can see it a little bit. So you can see I've stamped that closer to the right hand side. And then while I have this out, I'm going to stamp on, an, on a scrap, I'm gonna stamp this little um, bobber. 
And then to color that little bobber, there's a stamp that we'll stamp inside that. And we're gonna use that boho blue that we uh, used, that we watercolored that background with. And I may, this is a very juicy pad, so I'll probably end up stamping that off once so it's not quite so juicy. And then go into my bobber. So there's the bobber. And I've seen some cute cards done using this as a Christmas ornament. So it doesn't have to be a fishing bobber. A good friend of mine made a card that was a Christmas ornament. Then I've cut this out, and I'm not gonna make you watch me do that. I've used that die I showed you in the stamp set, and I've cut it out. I've also punched a little hole here at the top, and I've put some um, linen thread through it. So here's my little bobber. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a dimensional on the back of that. And I'm gonna stamp, um, stick that, adhere that right here on this piece. So we have that piece ready to go. All right, so now back to this card. So we're going to have our folds over here on the right-hand side. So we've got this, we've got this folded on the right-hand side. We're gonna take this one and we're gonna flip it over so that the folds are on the left-hand side and that it's reversed so that when you put it together, it's going to look like this. So the first thing we're gonna do is adhere this piece to this, this flap right here. And what I like to do, I like to lay this out really flat, and I like to lay this piece right next to where I'm gonna glue, because that will show me how high I can go with my glue. I know, you know, I don't wanna go up here because that's not where I'm supposed to be gluing. So I wanna keep it down in this area. And so I'll just lay that piece that I'm gonna glue on right next to that, and that way I can see just how much glue I need. And then I'll just bring that over and glue it together. Okay, we are not gonna do the other end. That's very important, do not do the other end. And now I'm gonna take this piece of DSP that I've cut, and I'm gonna center it right on that flap and cover up that seam that we just made. So that is going right on there. All right, so now we have this. Now we're going to go ahead and put this other little piece of paper on this flap over here. We are not sealing this flap onto the card. Do not do that. Just put that little piece of DSP on that section. And then now we're going to attach this piece across. And it's gonna go right up next to the edge here and it's about you know, in the center, maybe just a little bit above center, I'm gonna put it. Um, and I'm gonna adhere that. I'm just using our regular multipurpose glue for this. All right. And the next thing we'll do is attach our sentiment. We want to make sure that we don't seal this card open. So what we have to do when we do put our dimensionals is put them in this area. You don't want any up here because this is gonna be kind of floating. So don't put anything up there. So we're gonna put like one, two, three. So you kind of look at where, you, where you're putting that. I'm gonna put one right here at the bottom. Maybe one here. And one over here on the side. All right. And now I'm going to put that piece right on 
and I'm not going out past this this score line either. It, I don't know that it matters, but I'm not doing that. So I'm just sealing that right on there. And you can see on the back, there's no dimensional here so that it will be open. It'll open up. So we've got that piece finished. And now we're going to put in our background. This is the one that we've watercolored. And I did actually did one ahead of time so that it would be nice and dry. I just have to decide how I want that. I think I'll put it in like that. And if, if it, it, it may warp a little bit because of the water. So just take it and kind of bend it a little bit the other direction so that it's more flat. That's quite common when you're working with water. There's our background. And now we're ready to start on our mechanism for the little pop-up, which is, I think this is called a wiper card. So now we're going to open this up. We still haven't sealed that in. We're gonna open this and we're gonna take that little piece of Misty Moonlight, the other little one that was uh, one by one and seven eighths. And we're just gonna take the bottom right corner and we're gonna fold it up so that it comes straight across with the top. So we're just gonna fold it like that. And then we're going to put this in our card. And we have our two score lines, so there's the outside score line and the inside score line. We want this piece, this edge right here, to be just to the right of that inside score line. So I don't know if you can, how well you can see this. It's gonna be at the very top. So we're gonna have it at the very top and we're gonna keep this edge to the right of this score line right here. So we're gonna hold that really carefully, get it just where you want it and then hold it down. And now we're going to put, I gotta open my glue. We gotta, we're gonna put glue on, our, on this little triangle flap. So we're gonna put our glue right here and nowhere else, just right here on this little triangle flap. And then we're going to fold that triangle flap down and seal that. So that's the only place that's gonna have glue. And now we could fold this down like so. And this is what we want. Our next step will be to take our piece of clear window sheet. And we're gonna put glue dots. And these are some of the old paper pumpkin glue dots. We're gonna put two glue dots right on the end, one end of that clear window sheet. So I haven't taken the backs off, but there's where my glue dots are going. And now I'm going to put the strip right here. It's going to be pretty much centered on We're gonna put it right up next to that fold. So now we have this. And our next step will be to put two glue dots on the top of this right hand end of this clear strip. So now I've got two glue dots right there. And now it's time for our fish. So my piece of, of, of cardstock is still a little wet, but it doesn't matter because I have already done one. And all I did was take my fish and ink it up in the uh, Misty Moonlight. And then I lined it up where I wanted it to be and stamped it so that I could have some of that pink and some of that green. And then I cut it out with the dye. And so here's my little fishy. So on the card now, 
we're gonna I'm gonna take these backings off these glue dots. And now I'm going to glue this fish on. I'm gonna glue him what looks like upside down. And he's also gonna be at an angle. And the reason is because he needs to fit behind this piece of cardstock. So if I put him this way, he's a little bit long for that. And so I don't wanna do that. So I'm putting him at an angle with his belly up. So there's my little fish. And now I'm going to fold this piece up and there's my fish in the air. And then I'll bring this over and you can see, does that, does your fish look good? Is that how you want it to look when he's finished? And if it is, all you have to do is fold this little flap back and it's time to seal that shut. So we are now ready to finish up our card and we're gonna just put our adhesive, your tape runner, whatever it is that you're using on that flap <clears throat> and seal it down. And make sure your card's nice and flat because you want it to, to fold nice and flat. And so now when we close that, the fish goes back in the water. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. So there's our card. The only other thing that I added to this card was a little bit of embellishment. And I used these uh, the 2023 to 2025 in color dots because they have boho blue dots. And so I just took these little dots and I put a small one over here. And then I put these over here, a couple. So they kind of look like water. They're nice and almost like little sprays of water. So there's our card. So now we have our little pop-up fish card. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. If you have any questions, you can reach me at bluegrassstamper at gmail.com. If you'd like to visit my website, it's www.bluegrassstamper.com. I'd love for you to uh, pop over and, and check out some other projects. Uh, I'd like for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you need any supplies, I would love for you to shop with me. Um, it lets me make more videos. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.